the advice I have for other municipalities is just to try it. I think it's a great way to diverse the traditional approach of a, of a public interaction. Into the winter, spring 2020, we were into an engineering phasing design for a major infrastructure underground projects uh, right into our downtown core. We intended to include all the businesses and the residents with all kinds of consultation. But in March 2020, uh, COVID quickly removed that option away from us and uh, direct contact was really not uh, something that we could do at that moment. So we still had a major construction project that was going to soon go into tender that we had to achieve into the fall and the summer of that year. So we ended up leveraging GIS tools to keep our plans on schedule and still fully consult and involve the population during that spring. And what we ended up doing really is creating a story map, basically to put the citizens in perspective of why we were doing this and, and why did we chose that street and present to them general urban management concepts that was fairly new to them as well. You know, things like uh, walkability, you know, active transportation, traffic calming, greening up spaces. And uh, basically we presented five management scenarios and they kind of looked like uh, CAD drawings, transparent CAD drawings overlaid on, on imagery, high resolution imagery so that they could visualize what it could look like, you know, looking at their houses and their, their businesses. And we sort of educated the, the public about what are the trade-offs of each one of them. For example, more parking space means less green area. Less traffic calming as well means less safety for the users of that street. So things like that, that we really presented to the people, the plus and the minuses of each one of the scenarios that we had presented to them. At the end of the story map, you know, there was a, there was a survey where they could specify their, uh, their preference. And uh, basically we've let the street actors decide of what the outcome would be for that location. It was actually a relief for us because the city staff, you know, we, we, we did not have to, to build a case of why we chose that design or deal with complex situation or, or conflicting interest over the, the management of that specific street because everybody was aware of the various options that we were presented and and they had their saying into the process. We will always want to do in-person consultation and interaction. I mean, this is not going to take that away, but this is just another great tool in our engagement process that really helps us reach, you know, perhaps younger generations or more people in general. <laughs>